Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 100k run on the arms dealer. I'm using Blast Furnace in the primary, Borealis in energy, and Zenobia D in the heavy. I've got rocket launcher reserves on the helmet and a heavy ammo finder on my bond. I'm running with a 194 power handicap, which gives us a 3.41 score multiplier, which is achieved with Arc Singe, Heavyweight, Match Game, and Blackout. Put Blackout on because at the time of record number 725, so having that 394 uh, power handicap puts me down in the eyes of the strike as a, a 531. That's correct, yeah, 531. So I'm nine under the, pro the, the recommended for the strike. If I'd have went one more, all the enemies would have had swords over their names. So... I needed that extra score. I have went Oxinge because the highest rocket I have at this time is the Zenobia. So that's a you know, 730. So that kind of dictated that. I have went Nova because Stormcaller is just, well, wanting. It's, it's, it's not very good. And I just feel like for ad clearance, the Chaos Reach is just not the super you want. So we have got the fallen version, which is points good, but actual actual completion and moving through the strike a little bit more difficult. Uh, as you'll see here, we're going to charge a grenade. I thought over at the door. That's where the, the ads that are my immediate danger are going to come from. And the minute I fired the rocket, the captains jumped out the way. They probably jumped out the way because I charged charged the grenade. But never mind. That's why we have the borealis on, so that we can switch between damage types. Because we've got the, the, the Fallen version, Fallen or, or, or Cabal at the start, I've got it on high. I've got it on Arc. Because we've got Arc Singe, it'll do a lot more damage. And we'll, especially with the Fallen version, we'll be dealing with Arc Shields. And I think all in, there's like six captains in the first area. I think two come out that door. There's a Red Bar captain or a, a, a major captain down with the Cabal at this moment in time. And then the next wave of, of Fallen bring two two major captains and just a normal red bar captain they're all arc shielded so i'm going to charge a grenade <clears throat> thought in here it's been my experience especially in that with 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 uh with uh this strike that if you if you focus on the 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 fallen the cabal are just a little bit I want to say easier to take out. So as you can see, I completely missed those ads. But the other thing you might have noticed there is I shot that barrel, that explosive barrel, and got the points for all the kills. It's because my grenade had already damaged some of them. So as long as you've put damage on an ad, regardless who kills the ad, whether it's you or another enemy, you'll get the points for it. Be careful for those snipers. There's one more. There he is. Always try and get those snipers down first, or or as soon as you can. So we're just going to throw out a speculative grenade. I'm not throwing it out to kill anything. I'm throwing it out to suppress an area. I knew there was there was vandals up there. I could have thrown it down here, but then I'd have just. The reason I never threw it at those enemies is if I'd have thrown it at them, it would have attracted their attention on me. Vandals move that quickly and they're, they're kind of hard to pin down. So I didn't want all the Vandals' attentions on me, especially the ones closest to me. And they, they, they do, they run out of your grenade. So we're just going to mop up these last Vandals. I think there's one captain left who uh, jumps out the way of a rocket and then have to do him with the sniper instead. So here he comes. Teleports out the way of it, which is fine. Switch to Borealis, which is always a good idea, actually. He's going to take his shield off and he's going to jump up. And he's dead. Now, there's a couple of more Vandals. I think it's one more Vandal. And I'm just going to comb the area for, for ammunition. Now, because I've got Blackout on, that's why I'm being a little more cautious. Because, obviously, I have no radar. And melee, if, if, there, if there is a Vandal or whatever hiding, a melee is lethal. Now, score-wise, I'm not ashamed to say we scraped this. I think I think I've got about 106,000 on it. Now, I'm not going to speak in this video too much about the menagerie. 
or Shadow Keep, right? And I'm not going to say anything about any content that's coming because I've done it before and I've just held off of releasing it. No, I'm glad I did because the two videos I was going to release was the Future of Destiny, which I am now really glad I didn't release because although they've reinforced some of the things I was going to say in the video, there was some stuff that came out in the reveal that I'm glad now I can speak on when it comes to Future of Destiny. And the sandbox. But that, for me, the sandbox thing has, has changed again, my views on it. So now that I've got a bigger percep perception on it, I'm glad I didn't release those videos then. <clears throat> and now I can release them with a, a, a more informed context. So I'm going to take this ship down. And then we're going to try and just peek up there, make sure there's no real big enemies that can do any major damage. And right now we're kind of lucky. I think a captain kind of floats into our, into our vision in a minute. I can see all this heavy dropping. The heavy situation is really strange. It is really strange. Uh... I would like to see, I, I've, I've spoke about heavy ammo since before, but just a, a more a more reliable way to get heavy. If there was a more reliable way to get heavy, that would be such a good thing. But at the moment, getting heavy is, is ridiculous, especially when they've, they've, they took the whisper away from us. Now, I know... I actually am okay with 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 what they've done with the whisper. I'm just, I'm I'm not okay with what they've done with the whisper. I'm, I'm okay that they nerfed it. I'm okay that they they wanted to do something with the sandbox, and I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is they done it when there was nothing to replace it. That I'm not okay with. So we'll just break this. The last. That's what I normally do with those servers. If I can take down the ads and it's just the servers. I stun them by breaking the shield with the Borealis and, and then switch to a rocket and fire it straight away because once an enemy goes into its stun mechanic, uh, it can't dodge out the way of shots. And there we go. Grenade took most of them down. Now we've got to watch out for these. I do actually have a better blast furnace. I'm not I'm not a fan of this one. Kill clip and some, uh, the other perk is... Uh, something to better handle them when you're airborne with a with this pulse rifle that's pointless my other one my other one has rampage and something else on it and it's the one i like to use but i know i could have put this one on the other one i just wanted to try the kill clip and i know it's more pvp but i just wanted to have a go at it it, it done okay because the blast furnace is for this strike and especially when you're low power level and you're going through something that's really difficult. And make no mistake about it, this nightfall was tricky because of the power level. You know, but it, it wasn't it wasn't impossible, not even nearly, but it was just tricky. So yep, yeah, what I'd not what there's a new thing that I do now, I when I'm when I'm doing a high score on, on this, I'll come up to the top of the ramp ramp, I'll take out that centurion guy, the the big cabal guy with a rocket as I'm coming across and I don't have to deal with his tracking stuff and then what we'll do is we'll see what else is there's a couple of these captains I know there's I'm not really interested in taking the red bars it's just a waste of time so we'll just stick a rocket down on them we've got the the captain we want this cabal sniper we can see more captains any kind of majors you know, and the Borealis will break their shield and then one shot. So it's one shot to break the shield, one shot to finish them. That's some really bad... That was some really bad sniping, but the reason why it was so bad was... I could see rockets and stuff coming towards me. So I was like, you know, my eye was like, oh my god, look at that rocket. It's coming straight at me. I'll just get on my sparrow, come down here, collect some energy, and then straight up. So as you can see, we're nine minutes on the clock. 66 and a half thousand just about now this next section is ad heavy there is a lot of ads but if you do it the way that i'm doing it it's it's easy for anybody to achieve really so we'll, we put it back to arc because we're unsure what we're really going to have to face in here we'll take out this tank two rockets should do it now i always try and hit the cabin because it spreads the damage across the whole the whole uh 
the whole vehicle. So we've got the Cabal, so we know we're going to have Void Shields, because there's always incendiaries, Void Incendiar Shields, and then them, there'll be, you know, some, some, some up top as well. So we're going to change. Now, this was unfortunate, <clears throat> because I actually aimed it at the Void Shield, but it worked perfectly because because he backed back into it. So what we're going to do is change to change to Borealis, break some shields here. I think I think that's all. We're, these cabal are going to run up top, and that gives us a chance. Where those cabal are now is where we're going to go next. We're going to go up there and activate the first the first console. And as you can see, the blast furnace from range. It, it's not a super a super melt, but it does a lot of damage from range. As I say, I think this is the first first time I've ever used the blast furnace in a nightfall, and I have to say, I I, I was impressed. I think my other one would, would would have would be better. And once I can get weapons, all my weapons upgraded to the same level, I'll have makes perfect sense that I'll have a, a larger pool to choose from. So what we're going to do is we're just going to assess the danger from here. Activate that because it won't have been the first time I've actually cleared this section and ran up to the next section without activating that and I've had to come back and that's just time lost. So we've got a couple of solar, a couple of solar, so we'll break shields. And there we go. And he's going to hide there. So what I done was... Now be aware of this. I, I, I thought to myself, right, okay, he's there, it's just him. I'll come over, I'll deal with him, completely forgetting that there's incendiaries and normal cabal and they're all kind of backed away. So now I've got it back. They won't it looked like to me that they wouldn't come out until until I pushed. So I did push, they came out, I ran away. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> so all right, okay, that's that's all the normal cabal. Now we've got, I think we've still got that solar, and we've got a void shield. I think we've got some incendiaries. So, we're just making sure there's no ammo lying about. No, we don't have any incendiaries. I thought we did actually. So activate this. Two rockets again. Two rockets again on the, on the tank. The first one should take out some ads as well. As you can see, it took a phal two phalanxes out, which is cool. And you see the amount of damage hitting the, the cabin. If you just hit the first shot anywhere, there's the incendiaries. I knew there was more incendiaries. So we'll change to void. We'll put a grenade there just to put some damage. And then we'll, we're going to move away because their attack is so kind of... Uh, it's just weird. The, the the attack isn't it's not like they can do precision precision damage to you but it's just such a weird attack there's one more left and he's on my right although i didn't know it at the time there he is break his shield he blasted me off little monkey uh take his shield again and then finish him and that should leave you with just maybe maybe some uh phalanxes and the boss. So we're going to change the arc. And we're just going to snipe the boss. Save what heavy. Because he's another one that he can. Uh, he, he can. Now I changed the void. Because for some reason I was under the. I did. I did originally. This is why. I, the, I did originally have. My character set up to be void. And this is the problem with. With. Uh, blackout. I didn't, I couldn't see that they were right behind me. They were right behind me, but I managed to get them all but two. And there we go. <clears throat> and we got heavy. And we're looking at 99,000. Now, a bit of time expelled there. There is a lot of points in this last room. I probably could have, I probably could have uh, done that a little bit faster, but I'm, I'm not bothered. The, the job was to get 100,000. We got the 100,000. And as I say, we're, we're underlighted. We, we could take more of a power handicap in the next week or so. Now, we're probably in this area. You've got two different versions in this area. You've either got uh, Yellow Bar Cabal, two of them, two kind of commanders. Or you've got 
uh, Servitors. Servitors are the Fallen version. We haven't had the Fallen version since the first area, so we can pretty much bet that we're going to get the Cabal, the, the Commander. So that, that's cool. What we're going to do is just kind of take out these ads here first. And take out the the Scorpius turrets. And then we're going to throw the super. There's one of them there. And we're hoping, well, normally I would have been hoping that we'd have got that commander and the phalanx. But because he shot the super. So we've changed, we've got, we've got void on, we've changed... We've changed to a sniper. Pretty quick, pretty easy to take those out. Now I can see I've got heavy. Uh, so I can I can burn a heavy. I should have actually burnt another one, but I seen that I had another brick. So we're going to put one right in the center, Scorpius, which should take out all three. And then we're looking for the commander. He, the commander is hiding. And so I put my grenade down. And there, the commander's gone. And we've still got a brick. So, now we've got full full heavy again. We'll just mop up these last cabal. And then we're going to do a chain jump. Now, there's, we can take some of these from here. So, we'll take this first one from, from here. But the rest of them kind of run away and hide. We're running out of time. Because as you know, now, for the <clears throat> from 15 minutes onwards, you're scoring points at half half the value and then after 18 and, and after 15 minutes you're losing you're losing points after 18 minutes you can't score any more points and you'll keep losing points so <clears throat> we, we can't really mess about here too much we shouldn't be messing about here too much so we'll take out these these last two cabal those uh, elite legionnaires. And now we're going to do the chain jump. Now the idea is, on this chain jump, just for people that don't know, there might be some people that don't know where you have to go, if you jump up this chain, as you can see, there's different shades on the chain. It goes from dirty to clean. Uh, and what you're looking for is the last, you can see there, you want to jump up onto the, this section, the last clean section. And then jump back down, activate this this console up top here, and that will spawn it. That will start the lift. The lift will raise a little bit, and then you're going to get an influx of cabal. It's only four. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge our grenade, throw our grenade on here, try and take out as many of them with the grenade as possible. The reason why we jumped up the chain is because it activates it activates the boss now, so we can start attacking them now. So what you do is you just dodge in and out at the back of the box, the very back box. Gives you a better angle on the boss. And just watch out for his sniper because it will hurt when he hits, obviously. And now what I'm going to do at the end, I'll fire this rocket. We're almost up at the top. He got. He's going to get his little pad out. When he gets that out, that means the turrets are coming. If you're worried about score, and you'll see here, you keep getting score for these turrets. So, that's the run. Pretty easy. Uh, sorry it wasn't a higher score, guys, but it will be over the next week or two. But that's how to do it solo. Just take your time. <clears throat> no, Use this as a, a reference, and you shouldn't have too many problems. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I always appreciate your viewership. Check out the videos that are coming in the next two days. And I will see you guys in the next one.